today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to be taking a look at a guitar. But before we get into the guitar, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, clicking on the notification bell. When you interact with us, it helps us interact with great people in the industry and bring things to you like this Yamaha mm -hmm. guitar that we got from Zounds. Right. So Revstar mm -hmm. uh, from Yamaha. We've been interested in these since they came out. Mm -hmm. Lots of videos out there on the, on the net already on the net. It was like 1985. <laughs> um, <laughs> so already that dive into like all the specs and stuff. We wanted to really dive into some sounds and things tonight and just take it for a spin. Uh, a couple things, a couple specs of interest to us, maybe to you. Uh, we love the P90 pickups, the five way switch on it. Positions two and four, you know, two pickups, five way switch. Yeah, two and four do a phase shift thing. Gives you some of those in between sounds. You have a focus knob here. You pull that out. It's going to darken the tone up a little bit. They call it a passive boost. So maybe boost your tone, but it darkens it too. It's like the, um, you can just kind of pull it out and not have to roll it. You know, some. Yeah. In the jam, you'll see I, I went to the bridge. And I like the brightness of the bridge, but every once in a while I have to tame it. So in my other guitars, I roll the tone back. This one, I just pop the knob up. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, one other feature we really like, the back of the neck uh, has that kind of, I don't know if that's the satin finish, but it's much like the Supra mm -hmm. guitar we have. Uh, they feel great. They feel great. Uh, and speaking of finish, we, I, I dig it. Yeah, cool. I, I know that one's not for everyone. They have some other colors, mm -hmm. but I dig that kind of non-traditional sunburst. So it's, you know, it's a newer guitar. It's not a, I don't think they're going after something super traditional here. They're giving you some new stuff. Um so there's three levels of these guitars. There is the Element, the Standard, and the Professional. This one is the Standard. Uh, Chris Buck, you know who he is. He plays the the Professional. Uh, one thing we can mention is, is is the Standard and the Professional all have chambered bodies and carbon fiber reinforced necks. Kind of right. an interesting feature. So we're going to jump right into the sounds. Uh, I played it and I went from uh, bridge to neck. Went through all five settings. It's our clean tone reference for the video. <laughs> about these pickups into the JT22 mm -hmm. clean. Sounds really great. Uh, in addition to sounding great, looks great. You know, just to mention fit and finish, I think we would be remiss if we didn't. There's nothing wrong. You know, there's no paint over sprays. There's no, I mean, it's what you would expect from a quality guitar. Uh, a guitar at $799. I think we have a link down below to Zounds. Where I think they're, in, they're Indonesian made, which Indonesia is killing it right now with guitars. Right. So... Uh, pickups sound great clean. Man, I wonder. You wonder what they'd sound like with a 15th anniversary Timmy, for example? Yes. <laughs> so we thought, you know, one thing we'll do is see how the pickups uh, react to drive. Now, I will tell you, I went again from, from bridge to neck, all five positions. I didn't alter what I was playing. I played the same thing. Maybe some people might do it differently. You get to the neck and you play something different. I played the same thing all the way through so you could hear how these Alnico 5 pickups handle 15th anniversary Timmy. pickups i liked what i heard so it was already paired with the dls echo tour and we are going to dive in our first jam here Thank you. 
So thanks to Zounds, we're finally able to get some guitars in, um, which is a big thing for us. We spent a lot of time doing lots of pedals. <laughs> Having guitars come through has been pretty special. Uh, we thought, Pat came in the night, he's like, hey, what if we ran through the series that we've done with this guitar? So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> ja. Uh, Micro Vent from Neo, the first series we ever did was the Leslie Sound series. And this is a great one to take for a spin on the uh, Rev Star here. <laughs> series the first series was leslie sound as we said because he came up with the concept and that's his favorite probably effect so to be nice to me our second series was tremolo and for this particular one i picked the glorious uh hampstead soundworks signature analog tremolo paired it again with the dls echo tour and played this <laughs> The second series was one of Pat's favorites. The third was not. Uh, <laughs> envelope filters. We actually have here the spatial delivery from Earthquaker Devices. This has not been done in our series yet, but is going to be coming up soon. So here's that. from our latest series and probably I'm going to say it one of my favorite we Most took in a, depth <laughs> yeah we took a deep I don't know that we'll ever do anything as in depth as we did this and if you haven't seen the opening uh, video where we talked to a whole bunch of awesome people the um, about this the, the it's Electra series uh, was a lot of fun and so a cousin like you said a cousin to the pedal that started it all we used the Earthquaker devices special cranker uh, for this run. <laughs> jam for you but before we get to that uh take a second do some final thoughts wrap this thing up so what what do you think i found the guitar interesting again you know the five-way selector um kind of in the room a little bit one and two were really bright but we used this on another video and it recorded really well like mm -hmm. like, it like it sounded bright in the room so i i would say one two and three I really liked four and five. I'd have to take a little bit of time to figure out where that fits in my palette. But I did like the uh, this knob here because you could roll it back to the bridge, pull the ear dart out of everybody's ear and dial it back and just get a whole different tone. So from a tonal perspective, for, for two uh, Alnico 5 uh, P90s, 
I, I thought it was really versatile and I think it looks great. It is an interesting looking guitar. Yeah, I think it looks great. Mm-hmm. I, I, the first time I saw it, I was like, ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> but I like it. It's grown on me. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it at all. Um, you know, it's funny for me because a couple of the clips I played, I was three, position three, in the middle. I really liked the middle position. Uh, I think when I used the envelope filter, I was all the way up in four or neck. five and yeah. five on the neck. And it sounded really good. Uh, nice and warm. In the jam at the end here, I think I was I was all the way back on like pickup one with some drive on it. Thought that sounded good. When you went to a kind of bridgey thing, I rolled it all I think all the way up to the neck and mm-hmm. pulled the pot on it. Right. I'm not sure how much I would use that pot. Like you do that a lot. You roll the tone knob a lot. I roll the volume knob a lot. I don't mm-hmm. roll the tone knob a lot. So uh, I'm not sure where that would sit for me, but cool guitar. I think, um, yeah. So in the fi- real quick in the final jam, I played that, uh, and I had this bad boy. This is a Barber Electronics Direct Drive, which you think you've seen on this channel a million times, but I bet you've never seen a green one. Does that technically fall under the B Custom? This technically falls under the B Custom, probably put in an older boxy head sitting around, and we're going to talk about this soon because if you haven't got hip to the B Custom stuff from David Barber, you need to. And I had what? I had the, I guess I had, you had the, the Echo Tour. I had the Echo Tour on with that. What'd you have? And for those of you who are not new to this journey, we've found ourselves coming across several K style pedals these days. And I forgot that I had the Tone Bakery. So I thought, let's bring it here and take it for a spin. And I um, put it with the MXR Carbon Copy. That was sort of the board uh, delay until the DLS came along. <laughs> so we that's what we used in our final jam together. So. Yeah, with that, always take a minute to tell you thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for hitting that subscribe button, click a notification bell, click on the like button, like PJ said in the beginning. Anytime you interact with the channel, it helps us interact with great people and bring cool stuff to share with you. So we appreciate that. We deeply appreciate that. And with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard Reminding, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. <laughs>